Hello my dear family members, within very few days you are going to sit for TCS and QT exam but you don't know how to solve the dice problem easily, then you are going to miss 2 or 3 questions because in the advanced aptitude section there must be some dice based problems. So today I will discuss important dice based questions which were asked previously and I am giving you 100% surety that same type of questions will be asked again. So don't miss the video, okay? Let's see what's the questions. So as I am observing that there are mainly two type of questions asked in TCS NQT. This is the first type of problem. In this problem, you will be given two or multiple cubes or dices and you will be asked what is the opposite of any digit. Uh, that can be like what's the opposite of one, what's the opposite of four, what's the opposite of five, right? So in this problem, how will you solve the problem easily? So at the very first, you have to identify if there is any common number present in both cube or diocese or not, right? So in this case, as you can see, 3 is present and here also 3 is present, right? So, and you have to check if 3 is present in the same side or not, same face or not, right? So this is the upper, this is the down, this is the upper, this is down, right? And this is the right side, you can say, and this is the right, left side, you can say, right? So as you can see, 3 is present in the right side here and in this case as well, right? So you have to pick the common value at first. So 3 is the common value. So and they are present in the same face, right? In the same side, same position. So you have to check those conditions. Then this is the rule that if the common value is present in the same side, then you can say the upper in this cube is opposite to upper in this cube. Uh, cube right so that means 5 is opposite to 6 and 2 is opposite to 4 right so you have to just know that and the remaining is 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 is opposite to each other right so this way you can solve the problem very easily okay so this is the first type of problem so just remember it and let me show you the second type of problem in any dice problem, you have to pick the opposite values, right? Opposite pairs. So in this type of problem, the rule to pick the opposite values is every third element is opposite to each other, right? So here one and three is opposite because one, two, three, this is the third element. And from four to six, this is the third element, right? So I hope you understood. Okay. And in this type of problem, one, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So 2 is opposite to 4, 3 is opposite to 5 because they are third element to each other and and 1 to 6, this is also third element, right? So I hope you understood. So let's go to the actual problem which have been asked in exam earlier, right? So let's go to the question. So this is the first problem. So I hope you will pause the video and solve the problem, right? So let me solve this. I hope your answer will be also same as my answer, right? So the problem statement is select the number that will be on the face opposite to the one having one. So you have to pick the value which is opposite to one, right? So in this case, you have been given three cubes. But what I have said that is, just pick only two cubes in which a uh, common value is present, right? So as you can see in one and two, the common value six is present, right? So and uh, the second task is you have to pick what is the, uh, uh, you have to pick that if the common value is present in the same face or not, same position or not. But as you can see, they are present in the upper both. So they are in the same, same position, right? So the conditions are matched. So that's why the 2 and 5 is opposite to each other, 2 and 5 and 3 and 4 opposite to each other. So 1 is remaining that is 1 and 6. So the opposite of 1 will be 6, right? So the option 2 will be the correct answer. Okay, so now I'll show you the actual question screenshot that has been asked in the last TCS NQT exam. So the problem is... So the problem is this, right? So I hope you will pause the video and try to solve the problem. So the problem is you have to pick the opposite of 50, right? 
opposite of 50 so i hope you are very much enthusiastic and you will give the answer in the comment section okay so please motivate me by giving answers okay so let's go to the next problem but before i proceed to the next problem i would request you to please have the prime materials of tcs nqt in which i have included all the all the mock test and all the previous year questions that will be very much helpful to you okay so please knock me at page id instagram.com slash techno.uf you will get it okay so let's go to the next question so the next question is open dias based problem so as i have said earlier that in this type of problem what is the opposite you know right so let me read the statement that is you have to find the opposite of four dots right opposite of four dots so let's go to the solution part so two six four one five three right so one is opposite to three and two is opposite to four right so remaining is one and six so they are opposite to each other right so we have got our answer that is we had to choose we had to pick what is the opposite of four and we got that two is opposite to four right so correct answer will be two so i hope you got it right so that is very much easier right okay so actually the questions are easy just you have to know the rule okay so let's go to the next problem so the next problem is this so i hope you will pause and give me the answer in the comment section right so this is a open dash problem so in this type of problem the problem statement is the boxes that can be folded by folding the figure like this okay so our task is to find what are the possible uh, possible folding right okay so at first the task is we have to pick the opposite right so one is opposite to three as they are third element to each other right and two and four is opposite to each other right because they are third element to each other and five and six are opposite to each other so the opposite element cannot be present in the same time in among these three right because the opposite element are invisible right okay so as you can see two and four are opposite but they are present in the uh, in this case right so we it this is eliminated and uh two five six right so five six are opposite but they are present in this case so this is also eliminated right because the opposite element cannot be visible right in the same time and uh three sorry two three six and in this case two one five six right so one five six is this possible one five six so no because five six is opposite so this is also eliminated so only left we with that is this third uh, third cube third dias right so only three will be the correct answer so i hope you understood right okay so let's go to the next problem so the next problem is this right so the task is same you have to just pick what combinations what folding can be possible right okay so let's go to the uh, let's go to the solution actually you can see that one is opposite to three and two is opposite to four right as they are third element to each other and the blank is opposite to the blank so let's go to the problem solutions part so let's check it so one is opposite to three right and two is opposite to four right so uh, let's check it so one and three cannot be present in the same time so this is eliminated and two and four is opposite so two and four cannot be present at the same time so this is also eliminated so now we have to pick from one and last i mean a and d so let's check it what can be possible both a and d are possible or only a or only d possible let's check it so uh, in this type of problem there is a funda of clockwise and anti-clockwise right so let me solve that so at first let's fill this with all two all two which is present in this column and let's fill this with all four in this which is present in this column okay so you have to check the uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation so as you can see one four and the blank is present uh, in the clockwise rotation right and as you can see here this is also possible that one four and blank is present uh, in clockwise rotation right and 
let's check the d so 3 2 sorry 3 blank and 2 is present in clockwise rotation so 3 blank and 2 is present in clockwise rotation so both a and d are possible right so this is how we had to pick the correct answer right so i hope you understood this type of problems whatever i have shown you right so let's go to the th uh, last problem which is a quiz problem for you the problem is so the problem is this right so i hope you will pause the video and try to solve the problem this will be very much helpful to you if you solve this by yourself right so i hope this much of discussions uh, added value to your career so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe to this channel and watch the playlist regarding this NQT. and if you want more such content then please share this content with your friends so that i can be motivated and your friend also can be helpful from this okay so thank you for today's session